Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I have your review of the Victorinox Hercules. This was a knife that I had picked up a few weeks back, may have been, may have been even a week. I, I can't even remember. I'll look back in my videos and maybe update the d description of this one. But this is a knife that I picked up to possibly take over the reins of the Swiss Champ, or at least give me an option of a knife that has a little more size, a little more usability, and larger tools. And, and I, I think it is a great option, and I've been very, very happy with it. I have not taken this out of my uh, pocket since I bought it. So I, I have been using it consistently, and I have been uh, using all of the tools as much as I can. Now, of course, in in this pocket, I carry a modern folder, so sometimes I'm not breaking out the the knife on this one, but I will tell you I've been using all the other tools, especially the corkscrew, and I have a lot to say. So, first up, this is a 111 millimeter knife from Victorinox. What does that mean for you? It's gonna be a lot bigger than their 91 millimeter, and it's going to be a lot bigger than all the other ones that they have. So let's see really quick. That is going to be a lot bigger than your Cadet and substantially bigger than your classic SD. So as you can see, and let me get the lights here. As you can see, that is going to be a lot bigger than these three. So let me get these out of the way. Again, these are still for sale if you are interested along with another handful of other Swiss Army knives. So if you're interested, just leave me a comment and let me know and I'll get in touch with you. So the Victorinox Hercules, as I turn up the lights back, there we go. Victorinox Hercules is 111 millimeters, and that is a full-size knife for me. I, I really do feel like that is just going to be a full-size blade that will probably get in the way of and probably hinder a few people when it comes to knife laws, especially since it's locking. Here is the Spyderco Tenacious, and yeah, it, it's about the same size as the Tenacious. So this is a very uh, good standard for knife uh, sizes and knife comparisons. And I feel like it may be one of those that I throw in there. Again, here is your standard 91 millimeter Victorinox. And let me see here, because this may be uh, a video that somebody sees and they didn't see the first part. But then here is a Parker Jotter. And I think that's going to be it for the size comparisons. So it's a good size knife. It's it's definitely going to be able to take care of some chores. And it's a great kitchen uh, helper. This shape is great for cutting open bread, um, even cutting fruits, vegetables, anything. It's, it's very, very good at what it does. It cuts very well and it's very easy to sharpen. The steel on this is very, very good. Now... Yes, it dulls, but it's easy to sharpen and it's practically rust proof. I've never had a Swiss Army knife rust on me, ever. I've never had it. Now, the full size cap lifter and wire stripper. I haven't really used the wire stripper, but if I had to, it might be a problem because the lock does get in the way of the wire stripping um, notch. Now on your standard 91 millimeter knife, that is not the case. You can just throw the wire in there and then use that. But the lock here does get in the way. Now this I have used as a pry bar and I have been very merciless to it. it, it it's very good. I mean, this thing, has taken um, a beating in the garden. I've used this to pry up old fence boards. I have used this to pry off old glue and scrape off. I mean, this thing is really good. And the great thing is it's locking. So that is really good. I've used the can opener. Can opener's fine. I will say this, and this is going to be something that will continue on 
in some of the other tools. Um, using the can opener works just fine, but I will say after a little while, especially if you're doing like a large can of beans or a large can of anything, the weight of this knife gets a little old. Um, it, this is a heavy knife. It's, it, I mean, it's not as heavy as, well, it might be as heavy as a buck 110. Might be a little lighter than that, but it's got some weight. And that definitely gets a little tiring after a little while. Um, onto the blade. Blade, again, as I said, easy to sharpen, easy to take care of. You've got a nice sharpening choil there. You also have a lock. I've heard people complain that there's a little bit of give here in the lock. Let me see if I can show you that. You see, it does actually slightly compress there. But that is primarily because of how Victorinox finishes all their knives and tools. They have them going in a tumbler. And actually this is a little bit better because you're not gonna have a situation where this is going to possibly be over here. It's always going to be over here and it's gonna be harder to fail. So I actually prefer that. The pliers are the same size pliers that you would get on a 91 millimeter, except you have a nail nick. I have to say, with this larger handle, you can do a little more work with this. You can also reach a little further back if you're going to reach something in a hot space like the oven or over a fire. You can do that and you can feel a little safer about it. You don't have to be as close because you have a smaller handle. Now, in this little compartment here, you can see a Phillips head. You just grab this little tail piece there and it pops up and then it clicks into place and then you close your pliers. This here is fantastic, especially that they put it in the middle. Being in the middle, you've got the driver literally in the middle of the knife and it's very good. You can just twirl it and there you go. I will say this though, and this will carry over to the other screwdriver. This thing is heavy. If you're unscrewing and then screwing back in a ton of screws, you are gonna feel the pain. Um, you are going to feel the pain if you're doing this a lot. Like if you're doing over 20 or 30 screws, um, man, you're gonna feel it. And if this is all you got, uh, man, I'd probably just whip out an electric screwdriver or something, but um, it, it, this handle is heavy. Um, I don't mind it all that much because I don't really, I, I'm not screwing in 20 or 30 screws, maybe five or six, but still the weight is there. Now, here are these scissors. Scissors, standard size scissors for Victorinox. You're going to have the same size in 91 millimeter blades. And, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a size that is very useful. Could they, um, could they have gone a little bit bigger? Yeah, they, I mean, they could have, but that would mean they'd have to go through different tooling, um, different everything, and you'd be running into the other screwdriver. So, eh, I would prefer bigger scissors, but they do the job. I really use these scissors for clipping my fingernails and possibly cutting string off of my clothes, off of a pocket, off of maybe my pants. I don't know, but these are very good scissors. They're fantastic. So under the scissors, yet again, there is another screwdriver. And this is a small, thin Phillips screwdriver. I will say this, this doesn't have the spring tension that I was expecting. Um, when I see videos of people with like an outrider, the, the spring tension seems so strong on those and it just doesn't feel that way with this one. The bad thing about this is it's not centered. So when you are using it, it can, it can swivel a little bit or the weight of the knife handle can swing down and then you can lose a little bit of the grip that you have on that small screw. Now, the great thing about this is you've got a very thin head or a thin shaft, and that thin shaft will allow you to get into nooks and crannies. I've been using this a lot on my daughter's toys because it runs on batteries and you've got to replace them. 
and this really does get down into those toys and allows you to unscrew those compartments. It's very helpful in that sense. Now, you will have to pull your scissors back out and then close it, but you can see here that I do have to kind of ease that in there to make it completely closed. Uh, it's, it's okay, I don't mind it. Now here is the wood saw. The wood saw is great, it's fantastic. It's canted upward just a little bit. So when actually you're using it, it's going to be um, a little more of a, a, um, a downward pressure that you're gonna have and it's going to then lift up the saw just a little bit so then your teeth get back into the, the, the wood a little bit. So with me personally, I don't use the saw all that much, but I did use it tonight to actually cut some wood to implement into a, um, a small kitchen we're building for my daughter. So all these tools are fantastic. But what really takes this knife down south for me is just the weight. I knew it was going to be heavy, but I didn't think about the possibility of getting fatigued over using some of the tools. Now, if I'm in full gear, like I'm camping, I'm hiking, I've got gloves, I'm probably going to be fatigued anyways, and it's probably not going to bother me as much. But if your arms or hands are fresh and then you're doing one motion a lot and it's with this heavy handle, you're probably going to feel it. The big disappointment on this knife is the fact that you have one, two, three layers that have no tools. Now, structurally, there's no possibility of having that because you have counter springs um, bouncing off of the screwdrivers and the other implements. The, structurally, you can't do it. it. It just won't allow it. Whereas the original spring setup allows it when you have the bottle opener, can opener, and then you've got the other back tool. It allows it, but it just doesn't structurally. I wish Victorinox would figure out a way to implement some of the other tools that we have in these other 91 millimeter knives because honestly having a small hook would be really nice on a knife like this because if you're out camping and you need to pull some string taut and you want to really get it tight having that hook on this knife would be really nice granted you could use the pliers for that if you really had to pull a string or something taut sure um, you could even cap it back here and pull it but Having another hook or something or some usability there is nice to have. Now, the awl is great. I've been using the awl a little bit, but what other thing I don't get is they didn't put a sewing eye here. If you were going to use this for a camping knife, having that sewing eye is just something else that is great to have, especially if you need to use it for an emergency and you need to sew something together. Um, in fact, it doesn't have it. You could drill your own hole, but I mean, do you really want to have to do that? I, I wouldn't personally. Then there is the corkscrew. Corkscrew, it opens up wine, does, does the job just fine, undoes knots, does all that should do, except um, one of the things that I have to contend with is the weight. Again, the weight of this is going to be kind of canted over here and if you're opening a smaller bottle or if you're using this for something else and the item that you're using it for to whatever you're going to do is lighter than this you better be holding on to that instead of focusing on this because it will take it with it because of the weight on top um, I, these are all theoretical ideas but it might be something that you possibly um, come in contact with when you're dealing with something like that. I mean, I don't know, but it's a possibility. Now you have the toothpick. I mean, I've used toothpick a little bit. I mean, it's, it's okay. I wish they'd find a new material. It's a little more sturdy and doesn't get as deformed. And then you have the tweezers. Now, one thing I really wish they would do, and they'd just make it standard because they do have a special edition 111 millimeter knife that has plus scales, that does have a pinhole, and it has the pen chamber. 
I, I just wish they'd make that standard on all the 111 millimeter knives. Um, it would be really nice just to have a, a pen or something, especially if this is going to be an outdoor knife, if you need to draw on a map or if you need to write down some coordinates or even a, um, a uh, diverging line on a map. I mean, it would be great to have that in here. Sure, you could store it somewhere deeper in these scales, but then you have to fish it out with the toothpick and, and then you have to deal with that. You could do that, but it'd be nice to have that pen right over here. So that is my review of the Victorinox Hercules. I'm sorry that I didn't shoot any additional videos of what I was using this thing for, but you know, when you, you have the job, you got to do it and you're not really going to waste time whipping out the camera and then film it. Um, at least that's not how I use these knives. When I need to use it, I use it and I put it away and I go on with my day. So personally, I think this is a great knife. It I, I, I think I'm going to be carrying it a little bit longer and then I'm going to throw the Swiss Champ back in because there are some tools that I actually miss from that knife that this knife doesn't have. But when it comes to camping or anything like that, I think this is gonna come with me. But after I'm done carrying this, I think this is gonna live in my car, probably in the glove box, and that's where it's going to live. This is going to be a great knife to have in a car, and you've got some usable tools, and you have some serious usability in this knife when it is in the car. You've got something that is going to take care of you. Now, is this the right knife for you? Well, I did speak about how this knife is heavy. Um, after some use, you will notice the heft. You will notice um, how it will fatigue your joints and your fingers. I don't have arthritis at all, but I, I'm not even 30 yet, and it still was something that I had to contend with. So if you're an older gentleman and you may have arthritis, or you may um, get fatigued quickly, this might not be for you. If you are somebody that doesn't want to carry the weight and you think this is too much, um, personally, I wear large gloves. Um, my knuckles are able to wrap around that fine. Um, this feels like a medium-sized butcher knife handle to me. So for me personally, this feels like a full handle. Um, it's not a problem. It's just going to be a little heavy. Um, it, it, it's a great knife. It's just going to be one of those larger knives that you will have to get over the weight. Now, if this is something you're going to throw in your bag and you're going to go out and have a camping trip, go do it. This is fine. Yeah, I don't think this is heavy enough where you're going to feel the weight. If you are one of those backpackers that possibly take into consideration every ounce every gram everything when you are going out take a, a super tinker with you i mean the super tinker is going to have a lot of tools on it it's going to have a lot of usability maybe even take a huntsman with you this might not be the one for you but personally i think it's a very good knife and i have found a lot of use for it especially the two phillips head screwdrivers i think those are great so if you guys like this review, let me know in the comments. And I know I sound a little gruff. I'm still getting over this dang cold. And um, it, it's just been really beating me down. But um, I, I'll get better and I will have some more reviews and a few more videos out for you. And if you did like this review and if you disagree with my points, let me know. And if you think I hit those points spot on, if you have one of these, and you agree with me, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to talk to you about it. But till the next, until ne <laughs> I am exhausted. Um, till next time, I will talk to you guys later and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.